So yesterday I was talking to one of my friends, um, really cool guy by the way, but uh, I was talking about my YouTube channel and I was talking about how I really want to upload more like talkish videos, you know, where there really isn't just like live reaction, but I actually just sit here and talk. But uh, I really didn't know like what topics to talk about. And he said, Calvin, 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 suck my dick. But Calvin, 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 you don't have to necessarily talk about certain topics. You can just, you know, maybe tell a story and then go on from there. But I was thinking i don't really have that many cool stories but at like three o'clock in the morning i was really hungry i was like really fucking hungry I went upstairs there was absolutely nothing in the pantry so i decided to go to wendy's and uh, what does this have to do with the story absolutely nothing but i was sitting there eating my uh i don't know what the fuck i got i think it was a junior bacon cheeseburger or something like that i don't fucking know but i was sitting there eating and i was thinking to myself I don't have any Hunger Games level stories, dude. I never got trapped in a fucking arena with a bunch of kids with like nothing but a bunch of fucking medieval weapons. But I do have something pretty close. So take a seat, guys. Grab a cup of coffee. Go make some popcorn. Grab your mom and dad. Um, actually, on second thought, you probably shouldn't get your mom and dad. I mean, this story gets a little bit graphic. It's not too bad. I mean, no one's getting, like, thrown into a fucking van and buried alive. But, um, it, it gets, uh, I, I'm just gonna go into the story. <laughs> So about two years ago, I was currently 17, I may have been 16 when this all started, but uh, I was currently in high school, and uh, life consisted of about three things, playing League of Legends a shit ton, um, school not so much, I'm not gonna lie, I uh, definitely sloughed a lot, actually... I, I, I sloughed to the fucking max. Like, if I would have sloughed anymore, I probably wouldn't have graduated on time. Sorry, Mom, if you're watching this, but I missed a lot of school. And uh, three, you know, occasionally going to some parties and stuff like that. But uh, not so much two and three, mostly number one. And I played a lot of League. Uh, I shouldn't even say I, too, because I played with, like, three to four other guys that we all lived close to each other. It was really cool. And, uh, we played, like, at least four to five hours a day. It, it was a lot. Now, I'm not promoting this lifestyle at, at all. Um, th th there's definitely a lot of risks that come with it. And a lot of consequences that can really bite you in the ass. But I'm not gonna lie. Going to school at, like, six o'clock, getting off early, going to get some Wendy's, going back to play some League, and then Chinese food later. It was a lot of fun. Alright, so anyways, back to the story. Um, one night, I'm playing some solo queue. I'm just playing by myself. And, uh, fate pairs me up with this girl. Her name was um i think beat by a girl it, it was something on the lines of that and uh, we go bot lane together if you guys don't know what bot lane is it's basically a lane where you have to communicate with each other and you know use teamwork and all that annoying shit and we we just end up fucking stomping the other team things go really well and she sends a, a, an ad to me afterwards so after a few days of uh, having her at it, I eventually get her into some games with me and my friends, and uh, she's really cool, like, she has cool personality, she's funny, but the only problem is, I wouldn't even consider it a problem, the only weird, sketchy thing is, is uh, she was only like 13 at the time. Now, I was only 17, so it wasn't like, I was like way older than her, but it definitely, um, there, there was definitely a difference. But she was really good at League, um, she got along with everybody, she was pretty funny, so uh, she kind of just played with us, and it was pretty cool, to be honest. Now I'm just gonna cut the bullshit right now. She had the fucking hots for me, dude. After, like, two weeks of me and her talking, she would start sending me pictures like this, she would say, you know, like, Oh, you're so nice, if only I could show you my appreciation in real life or something. It, it, it was definitely, like, some sketchy-ass shit, dude. And, uh, me being, you know, very responsible Calvin, I just, you know, didn't reply to those messages. I kind of tossed them aside, and, uh, I was very responsible about it. You know, maybe, I don't know if it was a phase, I don't know if she didn't have that many friends in real life, or maybe, maybe I'm just fucking awesome, I don't fucking know, but she, she had the hots for me, dude. She wanted the D. So after a good portion of time of uh, me just kind of not replying to those messages, she kind of got the, uh, she kind of got it that I wasn't interested, and uh, she kind of stopped sending me those messages, which was cool, and I wasn't a dick about it, so that that was cool, 
and uh, we just kind of played League after that. Things were pretty good. So about like six months later, me and my friends are playing a League game, and uh, she messaged me, and she's like, hey, can I invite somebody? Ellie, Ellie, shh. But anyways, um, she said she really liked this guy. He was really funny, and uh, she really wanted to invite him, so I was just like, invite him in here. Why not? And uh, his name, we're just going to call him Jimmy, okay? <laughs> little old Jimmy. Now, Jimmy, I hate to run him down, but Jimmy was a little bit of a fucking weirdo, okay? He was 21 years old, maybe 20 at the time. Uh, he, he dropped out of high school. He wasn't going to college right now. He, he didn't have a job. He lived with his parents, and he had a plot. Get this, get this, guys. He used to have a plot. To kill everybody at his old high school. Crazy as shit. You could... You, oh, wait. <laughs> I swear to God, when he brought that up, everybody was just like, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. What? Just, what? You had a plot to kill everybody at your high school? What? And he's just like, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, there were some people that used to give me shit. And I was just, you know, thinking about locking all the doors and killing everybody with a fucking shotgun. Everybody's just like, Jimmy, what? What the fuck? And after the initial weirdness, uh, things actually got pretty good after a while. Um, we all got along, we kind of just tossed aside that Jimmy was going to straight up kill everybody, and uh, we all kind of got along, we played some League quite a bit, at least like three hours a day, and that probably went on for about, I want to say a year, I mean it was a lot of fun, don't get me wrong, but uh, it all changed one day. So I'm going to have to use my uh, storytelling voice for this part. So one night, Calvin was sitting up and it was late as hell and all of his friends were tucked in their little tight little beds. And Calvin was looking for somebody to play league with. By the way, I'm Calvin, by the way, just like if you didn't catch on like a while ago. And I was looking for somebody to play with league with and I saw good old Jimmy, you know, sitting across the room. Not like really, like metaphorically, he was, you know, on his computer. I was on my computer. I saw him online. And I said, Jimmy, my old friend, my little angel, my sweet little angel, do you want to play some of the League of Legends? Do you want to go on the Summoner's Rift PC edition and go fuck some bitches? So Jimmy sees Calvin's message and he looks over at Calvin. They make brief eye contact and Jimmy walks over like a cat and he gets real close <sighs> calvin i'm busy now i'm not gonna lie i did think it was a little bit weird mostly because when we did play league he would usually be the one inviting us and then when we invited him he would almost always say yes and i mean this is just a guess but when you don't have work or school i can only assume that you don't really have that much to do so i thought it was a little bit weird that he was busy but i just thought maybe he was like playing with his donger or something like that i'm just saying but uh it was going to be all cool until he sends me a message uh, saying, check this out, right? And uh, he invites me into a Skype call with two people, and he's one of the people. We got little Susie, and we got not so little Jimmy, and nobody else is in there. Well, you know, I'm in there now, but that was it. It was just those two people in a Skype call, and it was like in the middle of the night. And to add a little bit more fish into the whole story, it was a school night, and it was in the middle of the night, and she wasn't known to stay up. Uh, she actually cared about her life, uh, all that boring shit, but uh, I was like, it, it was pretty much just really weird because she would always go to bed early, but she was in a Skype call at like 3 o'clock in the morning on a school night, and uh, it was definitely very fishy. So I joined the Skype call, and the first thing I hear as soon as I get into the Skype call is like a low breathing sound. It's like this. <sighs> And I realized that it's little Susie sleeping and he's sitting in there listening to her sleep. And I'm speechless, dude. I'm just, I, I'm like a kid that just witnessed a coffee mug grow legs and, and run away. I, I just don't know what to say. I'm just like, holy fucking shit, dude. And he, and I'm, I'm like speechless, speechless for like at least 10 seconds. And he says, isn't it cool? And I'm just like, what the fuck, Jimmy? What? No, what? And he's like, what, Calvin, you don't like this? And I'm like, are you serious, dude? She's like 15, you're like 21. And he's like, isn't it cool, though? And I'm like, J Jimmy, do you not fucking understand? You're going to go to fucking jail, dude, if you continue this behavior. Jesus. And he's like, no, but it's cool, though, isn't it? And I'm just like, Jimmy, you're, you're not seeing the light. I'm trying to show you the light right now, but you're not seeing it. You're going to go to fucking jail. And he, he like, just doesn't get it. He's just, like, unable to communicate with me. He's just like, Calvin, what? I don't speak English. 
And I'm like, Jimmy, you're going to go to fucking jail, and you're not going to do good in jail. You're going to get fucking raped, dude. Like, you're not going to do... Like, granted, I wouldn't do good in jail either, but, uh, you know, y Jimmy wouldn't do good in jail at all. And, uh... He, he just wasn't able to get it, so I, I just ended up leaving the Skype call. And even after I left the Skype call, for like the next five minutes, I was just like, what the fuck? Like, besides the obvious question, which was, what the fuck was all that shit? I was like, there, there, there's so many more questions. Uh, one, why couldn't he play Lee with me while he listened to her sleep? No, I'm kidding, but I'm serious, man. I w like, when this actually happened, I felt like the Lord of the Rings character. The king that was like, how did it come to this? As he was, like, fucking shaking and shit. Like, that's how I felt. Like, I get it, dude. If you talk to somebody all the time over the internet, I can see how you can develop a little crush for her. Oh, uh, you know, I, I can see that. But how? Here's my fucking question. How does that little crush turn into, hey, Jimmy, I really got to go to bed. I got some math tomorrow. You know, I got my English project coming up. I really got to go to bed. Leave your mic on. Like, how, like, in what fucking world would that, like, anybody be like, okay, I think that sounds like a good idea. And the second question, how the fuck do you even reply to that? Can you leave the mic on? You know what, Jimmy? Yes, I will. Yes, just for you. You know, you fucking roll over on the side. He, all he hears is just... No, no problem, Jimmy. I'm not suffocating. I'm just turning on my left shoulder right now. Okay, you know, I was really worried about that. Like, like seriously, how the fuck do you reply to that shit? I'm just saying, man. And even if they fell asleep at the same time, I think it's just as weird or... I take that back. Actually, listening to somebody sleep is definitely worse, but I think you're just be weird. You're just sitting there, you know, one guy snoring a little too loud. Uh, I snore really fucking loud, for example, so, I mean, nobody could fall asleep with me. I'd be a... And they're like, oh my god, are you okay? I mean, are you having a heart attack, Calvin? Or are you, like, just snoring really fucking loud? And I wouldn't even reply. I would just go... And question number three, how is he even expecting that I react to this shit? I fucking join, and he's just like, isn't this cool? And I'm like, yeah, dude, hard fucking core. And then we just leave, and that's fucking it? Like, are you serious? Like, who the fuck does this guy think I am? Fucking Quagmire? Isn't this cool? Giggy giggly, and I just, like, straight up leave? Like, what? So, as you can imagine, after that, me and Jimmy aren't really friends anymore. Uh, I never deleted him off Skype or anything like that, but me and Jimmy, our friendship ceased to exist, and we don't really talk in after that. And uh, I think I sent a message to Susie saying, you know, this is, you know, this guy's kind of fucking weird, and, I, you know, this is kind of weird. I'm just saying, you know, I'm not hating on your lifestyle, but, I mean... This is kind of fucking weird. I'm not going to fucking lie. And uh, I, I kind of just kind of stopped talking to them for a few months. Anyways, a few months later, I'm talking to uh, one of my friends and I get a message. It's like 3 o'clock in the morning. I'm kind of spooked out because I just got done watching a uh, scary movie. And uh, guess who is by? Fucking Jimmy. Jimmy's back again. And um, Jimmy says something on the lines of like, hey, how you been, Calvin? And, you know, first of all, th just the way he started the fucking conversation was just fucking weird as shit. It's been like six months and he's just like, how you been, Calvin? Calvin, um, yeah, so that's already fucking weird in essence, but, uh, I, I'm, I'm like, nothing much, I'm just playing a game right now, I'll talk to you later, and I didn't even ask how he was doing, because I was kind of in a hurry, I, I think I was playing a game or something like that, but, uh, he replies with, I'm building a gun, you know, I didn't even ask him what he's been up to, or what he's doing, and he says, I'm building a gun, right, and I'm thinking, why the fuck is this guy building a gun, you know, he's a little bit overweight, he's like 22 now, he has no job. He doesn't go to school. I sincerely doubt this guy's hunted fucking deers or rabbits, okay? I really doubt that. And, uh, yeah, I'm like, why are you building a gun? And he gets real close to me. Like, not literally, because you know, we're both on the computer, but it felt like he was close to me. And he goes like this. I'm hunting something. And I, like, slowly back away from my chair. And I look at myself in the mirror and say, what the fuck was that? So I go to my friends the next day and I tell them everything. I'm like, guys, 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 somebody might be hunting me down as we speak. I'm not fucking around. This guy has some fucking issues. Maybe he just, you know, like broke up with his online 14 year old girlfriend and Jimmy's having a few little like, you know, bad things going on in his life. And his answer is just kill fucking Calvin. I mean, I hope it's just like a painless death. But I mean, I can imagine this guy might be the type of guy I'm just saying that might take off a few toes before he takes you out. You 
you know, shoots you in the leg, takes off your big toe, and, you know, maybe a few other your small toes, maybe your ring finger, and then just straight up ends it all. And my friends are laughing, they're like, Calvin, you're funny, and I'm like, no, 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 guys, I'm legit, I could be getting hunted as we speak, you know, he could be looking for Calvin on his little fucking GPS, looking for me as we speak, man. I mean, I don't know how, because he didn't have that much money. I mean, he has no fucking job, but he could be, like, walking to Utah, like, on a mission, like, Fallout New Vegas style, just to fucking kill me. I'm just saying, guys, and my friends are fucking laughing. I'm like, Derek, 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 if I die, I'm being completely serious. You know, you don't have to retaliate, you don't have to go, and you don't have to avenge me like in the movie Taken or anything like that, but can you at least fuck with this guy a little bit, you know? Like, at least send him a message on Skype saying that he's a fucking prick or something, you know? At least mail him a dildo or something. Like, he, he just straight up ended my life. Like, my life is fucking over. I, all my dreams, all my ambitions are gone because this fucking guy. Can you at least mail him a dildo, vaginal cream, maybe a tire? Just fuck with him a little bit? And he's like, Calvin, 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 I got you, man. I got you. Now I need your homework. And I'm like, I didn't fucking do it, dude. I just got back from Carl's Jr. And it was amazing. Um, I don't know why, but Carl's Jr. is just so much better than the other fast food places. But uh, anyways, anyways, spoiler alert, I never ended up dying. Um, well, I mean, yet. I mean, if he actually wanted to kill me, I don't think he had the money for a flight. So we could be walking to Utah as we speak. But uh, I'm trying to think of, like, a message that I can pass on to you guys through this video, you know? Like, an overall message, like, this is what happens when you do this, or if this happens, you know, do this. But I can't think of anything except for this guy was really fucking weird, dude. Like, I, I knew he was weird from the start, but the school shooting bullshit, the fucking, the 15-year-old the girlfriend, the falling to sleep with her, like, this guy was a fucking weirdo. And uh, that, that's all I can really think of. So um, moral of the story is there's some weird ass people out there. Surprise, surprise, surprise. And just in case Jimmy so happens to stumble across this video, I just want to let you know, Jimmy, Jimmy, I don't hate you, dude. It's not, you know, nothing personal, but I feel like now that we're both a little bit older, I mean, you're a little bit older than me now. You're like 23, maybe 22. I feel like we can both agree Dude, this shit was pretty fucking weird, dude. Like, come on, man. That, like, you're, you're listening to her sleep? What? Like, seriously? And to all the people that are not Jimmy, um, I hope your guys' day has been going fantastically. I want to thank all my viewers and supporters that like and comment on my videos and share it on Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. You guys are completely awesome. And uh, this has been when I met a pedophile on the internet. And holy shit, did shit get real. Bye!